Welcome back to Uncorked, everyone. I'm your host, Bobby, and today we're filming a very exciting episode for me. Um, we are doing a Marilyn Monroe happy birthday episode. Uh, Marilyn Monroe was born on June 1st, 1926. Um, today, she would have been 95 years old. So, um, a little, a few things about her. A lot of people discredit her um, solely based because they think she only got where she was because of her good looks, and they don't realize all the things that she did in her short lifetime. Um, so, she was a survivor of hard trauma. Um, she had a very sad life growing up, and she spoke about those issues in a time where she was criticized for doing so, because being open about the struggles you've been through wasn't something that you did back then. Um, she called the shots in her own career. She actually got so tired of being underpaid in Hollywood compared to other female actresses that she opened her own production company called Marilyn Monroe Productions and produced two films under the company, um, Bus Stop and The Prince and the Showgirl. She was a great actress. Um, a lot of people like to say she wasn't, but she won a Golden Globe. Um, she's also one of the most iconic actresses to this day of all time. She was a supporter of equal rights. Um, Ella Fitzgerald wanted to play at the Macombo nightclub and they wouldn't let her. And Marilyn Monroe thought that anybody who was qualified to do something should get to. So she called the club and convinced the owner to let Ella Fitzgerald play there. And Ella Fitzgerald became one of her closest friends to the end of her death. Um, she was a philanthropist and made donations to dozens of charities anonymously. anonymously. Um, she stood up for women's rights in a time when you weren't allowed to. She said that women should be able to dress the way that they want to and to uh, do the things that make them most comfortable. So as you can see, Marilyn Monroe did a lot more than just act and was a lot more than just a pretty face. So now to get into the wine, Marilyn Monroe loved champagne. She loved champagne so much that she was one of Piper Heidsick's um, very first supporters in the United States. She would keep a month's supply in her house at a time. It was her absolute favorite. She said she would go to bed wearing Chanel perfume and wake up to um, Piper Heidsick because there's no way you could have a bad day if you were drinking sparkling wine. I love sparkling wine. I love Marilyn Monroe. I lived a very similar life, um, childhood. So she's an idol to me and I love what she's done for women. So Piper Heidsick is one of my favorite champagnes solely because it was one of her favorites, but also because the lineage of this champagne is incredible. As you remember in our Charles Heidsick episode with Chuck from um, Flowood, we talked about how Charles Heidsick came from the exact same family as Piper Heidsick, and they were the first champagne Charles Heidsick was to come to the U.S. Um, Piper Heidsick is also still the champagne of the stars. It's poured at the Golden Globes. It's poured at the um, movie star events um, because Marilyn made it so iconic. Um, and then the original owner of Piper Heidsick in the 80s decided to um, sell to another family and move to Sonoma to open another wine project called Piper Sonoma. And these are very, very affordable options made in the exact same method of champagne made by the family that has crafted some of the greatest champagnes in the entire world. So again, thank you for joining me this week. We'll see y'all next week. And if champagne is good enough for Marilyn, it's good enough for you. Thank y'all so much and we'll see y'all next time.